jerked around by this process. We, we, we turned our signatures in, okay? Now we're at the Michigan Supreme Court. We got up early this morning, came from all over the state. You're telling me the Roman school, but you're making decisions about who you're gonna let in. You can do this. You can let these four or five people come. Yeah, yes, you can. I know you can. What evidence do we have? Right, right, right. Now you talk. Right, this is just going to have to take care of you. That's what I'm going to do to Colorado. Don't take me away. Let us in! 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 Let us in!
the state. Yeah. And they're blocking the door. Yeah. It's time for we say enough is enough. 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 enough is 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 enough. Let me say this. This whole thing about the phone is a joke. It is. Yeah, it is. Not it it's is. a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. You know, what they have done to us, they have pushed this Trojan horse down our throats. Yeah. 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 Right. And they have installed these emergency managers in there to jump out at night and take over our city. Yeah. Yeah. So it's time that we say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough.
spirit. Of the spirit. How do you decide? How do you decide? How do you decide? To take our vote. To take our vote. To take our vote. To take our, vote. To take our voice. To take our voice. To take our victory. To take our victory. And lock us out. While you delivering. While you delivering. Open the door. 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 So if 
my money and your money and even our friends in uniform that are here to protect us from the lawbreakers inside. Yeah. See how you do that? It's okay, See what you're buddy. Smile. We're with you. <laughs> the real deal is keep up the good work. They will not shut us out. No. They can close the door. Yes. But they will not keep us from voting. Yes. They may make it difficult. Yes. But they will never. Never. Lord Jesus, never. they will never, never. never. Break never. our spirit. Never. Because never. the spirit never. of democracy lives on here yes. in that Supreme Courtroom and in that Supreme Chair. Yes. That's the one that counts. Yes. So, y'all, whatever you're doing here, look out. Because the real dude's watching what you do. Yeah. And we're going to be around in November. Yes. And we are not going to give up. No. The Court of Appeals ruled in our favor. And corporate Michigan found a way to appeal it and bring it here today. In the words of my dear saint of God brother and my good friend Reverend Bullock. And my mentor Bernadette Jefferson the Bishop. Three little words that should be right here in your heart forever. Hope, Hope springs, springs, springs eternal. eternal. Hope, Hope, Hope springs, springs, springs eternal. eternal. Hope, Hope, Hope springs, springs, springs eternal. eternal. Hope, Hope springs, springs eternal. eternal. God save us all from them. God save us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And now my good friend and brother, Brandon Jessup. Right. He's bashful. <laughs> but he's pretty. It's all right. He's got a strong voice. I'm going to be as brief as we need to be. February 29th, we're charging 226,600. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Six hundred thirty-seven cents. Yes, sir. It was you guys that made this thing possible. All right. Yes. You were the folks that did this with no budget. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Did it on the sweat of the labor of the love for what democracy really, really means. Yes. Yeah. That it, it's our great equilibrium. Yes. In the face of, of, of injustice. Yes. Right? And we see the blatant injustice right here today. Yes. Yes. Clear. Great. Awesome. Blatant. But we cannot be deterred from what our focus is. Yes. Right. It's to make sure that democracy gets to the ballot. Yes. Right. Because we know about all the other voter suppression tactics that we see. That's right. Matter of fact, some of us had the gall to be thankful when Governor Snyder vetoed the voter suppression laws a few weeks ago. But then he said, you know what, I'll let the Secretary of State look at it from an administrative standpoint. So this is what administration gets you right now. Right. For extra bureaucracy and a delay of what? Just the same that we've been asking for for years in Benton Harbor. The things that we've been asking for for the second time around in Flint. Yes. The things that we've been asking for for four long years in Pontiac. Yes. And the nation's third richest county. Right. So let's be clear. This is about economics. Yes. Yes. This is about yes. economic equality. Yes. Yes. And to make sure that we have economic yes. equality, our voice has yes. to be heard. Amen? Yes. Amen! Yes. So when we think about where we are today on this hot summer day in July, remember that this Saturday, you'll be 100 days out from the November election. 100 days. If they don't hear you now, Multiply those 226,000 names that you collected over the last 18 months. That's right. Turn it into 1.2 million. And then take that number and double it really fast, and so now you get to 2.4 million. And you know what? Ask those 2.4 million friends to make sure that they turn out this November. Yeah. If they can't hear you right now, they won't have a job in 100 days. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So We've seen a bigger picture. We've seen it a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't just about emergency management. No, this isn't just about the dictators that you place in our community. Right. 
This is about making sure that we keep the future of America at stake. Yeah. Right. And that starts from the president all the way down. Yeah. And this man is doing this job. Yeah. But guess what? Justice delayed. Yeah. Justice, denied. Justice denied. Yeah. Yeah. So today, stay vigilant, stay strong, every member. We are in the fourth quarter of this fight. That's it. We don't get tired. Yeah. If your teammate is bending over, pick him up. Because yeah. we right. can't show weakness right now. Yeah. Yeah. We can't show weakness because we yeah. as a team, we yeah. as a team yeah. will get across and through the finish line. Yeah. Let's put this thing on the boundary. Yeah. Let's make sure democracy is heard in Michigan. Yeah. Let's yeah. 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 for all of Michigan, yeah. for Michigan yeah. future. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Anybody can come to me, anybody's got questions. I know I don't need to tell all of you what is wrong, what is unconstitutional, and what is simply unfair about this law. That's right. What I want to say to you today is we are in a battle. It is a longer war. Whether we get inside that building, whether we're outside this building, we are here, they know it, and we are overcoming the three most important enemies we have to overcome. Ignorance. Yes. yes. Apathy. Yes. yes. And fear. Yes. We found out what we needed to about the efforts against the people. We stood up. We said, I'm not going to just sit around and say somebody else is going to take care of it. And we're all here despite and in defiance of any fear we may have about what people will take against us. We are here. We stand against ignorance, apathy, and fear. And we will all teach our neighbors to stand against those three enemies because when we stand up, whether it's the law, whether it's the ballot, whatever it is, we will make ourselves heard and we will create change. In 19, I'm going to quit, but I'm just going to remind everybody, in the 1950s, in the 1960s, did we have a law with us? We did not, but we stood. People much braver than I sacrificed much more than I have, and probably, I dare say, more than most of us in this crowd, but we're ready. We know it's our turn, and when we stand and we put our bodies in harm's way to speak for what is right, we will make change. Yeah. 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 Marcus Muhammad, City of Benton Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. today in front of the state of Michigan Supreme Court and I'm no legal scholar but I do know that certain cases need to be settled in court in certain cases need to be settled out of court. Yeah. I'm going to say that again. Say it. Say it again. Certain yes. cases need to be settled in court. Yeah. And certain cases need to be settled out of court. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. In this case here, well, we can't leave it up to those that have the authority in the courts. We have to take the case to the people. And allow for the people to settle this out of court. Yeah. Let me tell you how we're going to do that. All right. A. Philip Randolph was a union man. Yes, sir. And he went to the White House. Yes. Yes, he did. And FDR, they had a conversation. Yes, sir. And he said, ran down a litany of abuses, and FDR gave them all cigars, lit his, and said, I agree, Philip, with everything you have said. Right. He said, but go out and make me do it. That's right. That's right. So we can't wait for justice to come down from the sixth floor. Justice has to come from the ground up. party has run amok. Yeah, right. Yes. Right. They claim to be pro-life, 
But how can you be pro-life if you're not pro-democracy? Yeah. 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 When, when, when yeah. democracy ensures life, liberty, yes. and what? Yes. So that's hypocrisy. Right. So we want to put all other Republicans on notice. Yeah. 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 And all Democrats yeah. that have on an elephant jacket yeah. Yeah. that your days in office are numbered. Yeah. 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 I love Wisconsin, but we don't want to be like Wisconsin. Yeah. Because we have to keep our eye on the end game. So when we leave here today, we must strategize, mobilize, and organize. I don't think you heard me. Strategize, mobilize, and organize. Last point. Thomas Jefferson, he said he trembled for his country when he reflected that God is a just God. Because of corrupted, wicked, and no-down judges. So Dick Gregory came to the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., and he wanted to get in. Look at somebody and say, get in. And they wouldn't let him in. And the rationale that they gave him was that this building is for just us. In love, the Apostle Paul talking, First Corinthians, the thirteenth chapter, in the first through the third verse, he said, "Though I speak with the tongue."